Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a corner joint and we're going to be using 4.5 meters per minute wire speed and 17.1 volts. So as you can see from this image we're going to be using this torch angle which is going to be pointing directly into the root of the joint. So as we move into the weld from this different camera angle you can now see what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the root penetrated through the joint fully which is very important this is where our torch angle comes in holding it at that angle will enforce the root to come through the joint but it would also make sure that we hit both edges as long as our travel speed is correct it's very important to have the correct travel speed if your travel speed is too slow essentially you're going to have excess weld material if it's too fast you're not going to have enough if it's too also if it's too slow what could happen is you might blow a hole through the joint we are aware that there's excess spatter on this weld but that's because we're using a cheap filler wire. Here's what you can see with the root when we fully penetrated through one of the joints. On to the second one now, so we're going to do another one. Exactly the same thing, all we're literally looking to do, just a slightly different angle, and hopefully you can see the left side of the edge on our screen. All we're doing is building that molten pool up to that point, up to that edge. We don't want to go too far because we don't want to burn the edge away. We just want to be nice and overlapped on top of the edge whilst also filling up. So here we can see the end result, obviously it's a nice clean neat weld, both edges are tucked in nicely, they're overlapping the side, there's no missed edges, so this is a good solid weld. Guys, just a quick reminder, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in these type of videos because we're going to be doing lots of new stuff, we're going to be coming onto all sorts of stuff, we're going to be doing vertical corners, overhead stick welding, vertical butt welding, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these top tips. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.